It's a hot Saturday night. Sergeant Long has come to Vail, North Carolina to win. You've got some, actually some pretty serious marks there. How are you feeling? I don't feel it. I don't believe you. I don't. How can you not feel you're it? Smoking I, me. No, smoking no. Me. Look, my no, chances I'm, are you're right. I'm looking at those marks on your back. I, I just don't see how you couldn't feel them. It's, it's, you know, some people take drugs. Some people drink to get a, a, a fix or a high. This is my high. 36 year old Troy Long lives in Southwest Virginia, where the unemployment rate has doubled in the past year alone. Troy is part of that growing statistic. He lost his job building Volvo trucks last year. Wrestling is now his life and his livelihood. This is about somebody going after what they've always wanted to be, and I'm living my dream. And I don't care if I'm dirt poor you know, in the process. It doesn't matter to me because I'm, I'm not, I don't base my life on material stuff. Without a nine to five, this has become Troy's office. Boogie's Pro Wrestling Camp in Shawsville, Virginia. Hall of Famer Jimmy, the Boogie Woogie Man Valiant, runs this operation. He's got more than 10,000 matches under his belt and, like a cowboy, wants to be buried in his boots. These are wrestling boots tattooed, actually wrestling boots with the laces and all. And when I do go to the big ring in the sky, I will die with my wrestling boots on. Jimmy is a mentor to these aspiring wrestlers during these tough times. I don't care what kind of trouble, you know, man, if they just lost their job, uh, if they're fighting with their, 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 their missus, you know, man, they come in here, they forget about everything. Boogie has been helping Troy become Sergeant Long. Get out the ring! Troy's not just Sergeant Long, he's also Daddy. Daddy, you got first. Yeah, little bit. Wow. Huh? Wow. Oh, so you have red dad's chances now? Huh? Getting in the ring is what's paying the bills, barely. All right, let's load up, guys. We got a show to put on. Each weekend, Troy and the other wrestlers travel hundreds of miles across state lines for matches and a little money. Too much. As the crowd gathers, the transformation begins. We are entertainers. It's just like you going to the movie theater. You're paying to see a show. It's the same thing with us. We're putting on a show. Come on! I'm so committed that I had Sergeant Long tattooed across my stomach. But all that showmanship doesn't pay much, at least not yet for wrestlers like Troy. At the end of tonight, what do you think you're walking away with? 20 bucks if I'm lucky. How on earth is that worth it? Well, it's like I told you earlier. I'm not doing this for money. You know, if I make money at it, then that just makes my dream even better. But I'm doing this because I love this business. You know, I love putting on a show for these fans. And that show, with flips, body slams, crushed arms, and managers who play dirty, is what this is all about. I want to steal the show. I want to have such a good match that when the fans go home at night, the only match they remember is my match. The following may be small, but the adoration is as big as it gets. When you think about your life a year ago and your life of now, how do you how do they compare? A year ago, I was, you know, clearing about a thousand dollars a week. You know, there wasn't nothing I couldn't do, and uh, now I've, I've had learned how to rethink on how I spend my money, what's most important. And right now, other than my son, being a wrestler is the most important thing in my life right now. The money is starting to increase. And hopefully one day that's all I'll have to do. I'm Yunji Denise for Nightline in Vail, North Carolina.